Right then, that was a bit of a steep climb, but it wasn't a long steep climb. It's windier than they said, much windier. Watch it, Washford, Minehead, Exmoor, Dunkery Beacon. I'm going to be going up round like that, curving up round now, but I've done the worst of the steep climbs now until later if I have to come out of Hol Holford. But Holford's never really steep like um, Bit Not a Coombe or, or, or these ones. It's a gentle, I've got to know that one, every curve in it, coming out of um, Holford. And I might be doing Lady's Edge anyway, on the way back today. I might not even go into Holford today. I always think I can keep it. I never stay there long, anyway. I might just go straight up to the memorial trees. I'll see how it goes, actually. I'll see how it goes. I might go past them on the way. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided. God, look at this beautiful scene though, everyone. This is my beautiful Somerset. And further over, which you can't see from here, with people gathering ready for the festival iconic festival where most of the big people over 50 years have played including David Bowie the Rolling Stones Johnny Cash, Dolly Parton the Kinks all the new young people Eddie Sheeran oh loads and loads and loads of bands Elton John They've all played there over 50 years. But of course now it's like a monster, I see it as. It's like a monster. It's a big capitalist enterprise. Although, under the guise of Greenpeace or some other climate change thing that they do, it used to be ban the bomb once and things like that. It's always got like a, a front, but really it's a capitalist machine. It has become that. I think it's lost something because of it. There's a little stone there. It says Saint S-T-A, whatever that might mean. Yeah, it's much bluer, but I don't mind it actually. I'm going to, one day I want to do over that way again, up there. I haven't done it since I've had the van, it's right over this side you see, it's quite a distance for me to travel um, quite a distance for me to yeah, I can see the road coming out of um, oh, the road's coming out of Bicknoller on this side Of course there is a road that could, but the bus doesn't come. The bus stops down the bottom there where there's a gap. When it's coming from Washford, it comes along here. It doesn't turn off and come down here. So I think you can sort of go down where I was near the wood. And walk up that road and you'll come out at uh, another bus stop at Bignola. It's an alternative way. If I'm over the, if I'm over this way, or I might get off there another time just to see, to see how how I could uh, climb up this bit. Yeah. Oh, right, folks, nearly at the top of uh, Weecombe Hill, Weecombe Coombe down there, Bicknoller Coombe over the other side, Beacon Hill with the trick point. And we're coming up to, very close now, to Wick Noller Post, which is our outgoing post, and we'll meet it on the way back. One way or another. But I don't want to go up that big track where all those people are, there's a big group of people. I don't want to go that way. I've got, think, I've got a feeling there's another path I can take. I don't really want to go near 
huge groups of people. There's quite a lot, there's been, well, well, loads of them from Minica. They're probably having a picnic there. They've been here a long time, yeah? they a hell of a long rest. Let me just go over here a minute. That's the Macmillan Way, the old marching route across the hills. The Great Road, I think they call it, this one. This is the junction point, whichever way you want to go, Big Nora Post. Lots of people sat there and picnic, probably my sister Jude, loads of times. To a really lovely girl who was a biker out here. Really friendly, smiling, happy, loving what she's doing out on her own cycling. I just have a look. Look at that beautiful scene over there. I can't wait to go over there. I still got to get my special map though first. As soon as I get that, which I might want to go to Cheddar because I'm going to see how much it costs it could be 150 quid but the thing is it's worth it if it's very lightweight and it does the job I just really want to do say two nights I'd like to go to or three I'd like to go to my base at Porlock to start with because I need to practice with the tent because they've got shops and you can get fish and chips and you can go in the pub for a meal so I wouldn't have to worry about cooking. They've got shower facilities. So, oh, it might have to be July. I do want to go just for a couple of days, even if I've got a hike across the, the top, which is what I want to do. But I want to have the light gear. I've got the light sleeping bag. Of course, once you throw in a warm jumper, which you've got to take just in case, and your water pros, it all starts getting heavy. But I've also got to get just slightly one size up. I've got a 40 mil, or litre, whatever you call it, bag. I think I need 50. I think I need 50. And 60 be too big. I'd like to be able to do it, you know, before I'm really incapable. It's very blowy. I mean, I've got all my new tent. I've got everything. I've got everything. Yeah, that's gonna move on, chill. Turn off now, and it's time for drinkies. What it is, I'm going over the top here. Lady's Edge, which I might come back, or I might do a hole for a coom, I haven't decided yet, is over there. This way is taking me to Old Foxton Park, which is where Wordsworth stayed at the Old Foxton Hall there, and which has a beautiful walled garden, and also, So I'll carry on this way, I think. Right, over and out.